What's going on YouTube? Snipes here with TKO Gaming. Here we are on the Rusted Lands. Trials of Osiris maps are back to normal, or so we hope. But praise God. Thank you so much, Bungie, for bringing it back. Res is back. Revives, I should say, and Radar. Pretty damn excited. Now, I'm going to tell you guys the strategy for this map. But before that, I'm going to tell you guys that maybe this video won't help you completely in getting to the lighthouse. However, if you watch us live on our live stream, we kind of have live commentary with a face cam, including people that we play with, whether it's a god team or if we're carrying a viewer. Everything that we do, you guys see live every single game. So you guys can actually learn a lot just by watching us. So if you like this video, drop a like and head on over to the live stream and uh, let's earn some beat bucks. You know, the loyal viewers are the ones that get the guaranteed flawless from us. So thank you guys so much for all the support. And uh, yeah, we'll see you there. But let's talk about what we're doing here for the strategy because you guys are like, what are you talking about, bruh? So as you guys know, we have seaside spawn. So for example, wherever my team is landing, that is where the sea flag is spawns essentially, like close by. So from C flag, we're gonna try to head over to B flag. That's the main thing, you wanna get B flag control. Why is that, Snipes? Why are we trying to get B flag control? Well, I'll tell you, bro. We're getting B flag control because that's where, if the game goes into overtime, that's where the flag will spawn. Kinda right to the right of your screen right now, okay? So you wanna make sure you have control of that. Plus, not only that, it actually blocks off a lot of ways for your opponent. If they can't make it to you, then uh, they're screwed. So, also another thing you want to keep in mind, kind of the way my teammates and I are playing, is we're not playing too aggressive here, alright? We're letting the other team push up, and we're just going to ensure that we are there to clean up kills like that. You know, I went in, tried to do as much damage as I can on my opponent, and then my opponent died. Now, you guys are like, wait, what if you die? Well, we have revives, right? So since I died there, my orb is actually in a really great position for my opponent, or not my opponent, my teammate to come pick me up. Now, one thing about a heavy round on this is kind of weird. Heavy is actually closer to the A side spawn than it is to the C side spawn, as you guys can see. But since the doorway is right next to heavy, and the heavy is kind of on the R side, I guess you could say, we can easily guard it from the tunnel. So uh, it's kind of a weird, weird map, guys. It's definitely not symmetrical and it's definitely not the best Trials of Osiris map, but it's okay. It's better than what we've been dealing with, like I said. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please do check the description below. Let me know how trials is going for you this weekend in the comments below us uh, every single week you guys if you're new to the channel i'm going to be posting i post almost every single day but every single week you'll see trials of osiris videos and you'll see us on stream as well so thank you guys once again i just want to thank you guys for the love and support and all that you guys do um and you know teams won't be as easy as the ones you see that we're playing against but trust me we've played everyone you can imagine good or bad in trials all right i love you guys see you in the next video peace